it looks a little clues together, but it is going to work. I have new grow lights for the greenhouse. I'm gonna work on getting those hooked up. I had to set up a whole new system on my benches to support these lights because I didn't, I don't really have anything to hang them from. So I kind of had to create something uh, with just stuff that we had here, which, you know, go figure. That's what you do on the homestead, right? It looks a little clues together, but it is going to work. The grow lights that I purchased this year are, um, Barina brand and they are LED grow lights and they are the ones that have the pink or purple they call it purple lights um, it's my understanding and I could definitely be wrong that you don't actually need the um, the red and blue both lights unless you need something to flower but I, I just picked something that was reasonably priced and it doesn't hurt anything to have them so I figured why not. I got a set of six lights and they're pretty skinny uh, when you put them together. They are... They look like this. When they come, these little guard parts are not installed. You have to slide them in. They're very lightweight. Um, and they have little clips. Uh, that fit over these. Uh, they just kind of snap on uh, so you can hang them. So I think I have all of the, uh, the little shields on that help direct the light. And the way I'm going to position these, I'm going to have two of the side by side over each bay to cover a wider space. I may end up in the f future, depending on how this looks after I get it set up, removing some of the some of these guards to let the light spread a little bit more, but we'll see how this goes. So basically I have six lights, I have three bays. These are four feet long. So each bay is about four feet long. And I also bought new heat mats for each bay so I can fit four 1020 trays in each bay. So that is my goal is to be able to support that much on heat mats at any given time and then whenever things can come off the heat mats I can move them to a different place and reuse the heat mats for something else. So let's get these um, set up and wired up and hopefully hung up. We'll see. So you can see on a couple of these bays here that I've created that I have the lights just sitting on top of these grids. Um, they probably could just sit there and I wouldn't have to hang them. Um, Their LED lights, they don't get hot, so that would probably be okay, but I'm going to hang them anyway underneath the grid uh, for a couple reasons. One, I want to be able to adjust the height so that they're appropriately spaced from the seedlings at any given time. And also that will leave the top of these grids free so that I can move things up on top to store when they don't need to be under lights anymore. Um, also, this sound, I, no, I can't, I can't do that. Mm -mm. So we're going to take the metal off of the metal <laughs> and hang them up. So for hanging them, <clears throat> they, they don't actually come with any chain. They do come with uh, these little hooks that have a place where you can attach a chain. Uh, they also come with some zip ties, which are kind of flimsy, actually. I wouldn't recommend using them, even though these are very lightweight. And they do also come, if you have a flat surface and you don't care about hanging them, they do come with this like these padded sticker paper type things. Um, so you they're double side double sided sticker, so you can stick it to your light and stick it to the bottom of a solid shelf or something. I don't know if I would trust that, um, especially in a damp, humid environment. But they send it, so uh, maybe it's okay. I don't know. 
Uh, but what I decided to do is purchase some cord cording that is made for this. And this is a rope style hanging cord and it has this little contraption on the end with the carabiner hooks. It's supposed to be easily, uh, to make it easy to adjust the height of your lights. So I got a package of these from Vipar Spectra. It's a 12 pack, which should do my, you know, one at each end of six lights. So I have not yet figured out the right way to attach these. So I'm gonna look at directions and do that. Also, um, once I get them into position and hung, then these lights are linkable. So you don't have to have six outlets for these lights. I'm either gonna be able to do one or maybe two, depending on how I decide to link them, which is fantastic. If I can get them onto one outlet, because they don't draw very much power. I got this digital timer so that I can hook up the outlet for the lights and set it for how long I want it, you know, when to turn it on and turn it off. So I don't have to do that every day. If you're enjoying this kind of content, then I encourage you please to hit the subscribe button down below and click on that notification bell and choose all to be notified every time I upload a new video. I'll have lots of garden content coming up, some fiber arts, and maybe a little bit of spirituality too. So stay tuned, hit the button. So I opened the box for the um, adjustable rope hangers to attach to the lights and I'm looking for instructions. And the first thing I find is an advertisement for some other professional grade lighting. And the second thing I find is this little thing that asks me if I'm happy or not happy. And uh, what, what I can do if I'm happy or not happy to either resolve my issues or spread the joy, <laughs> which is great. But I'm looking through this box and I'm like, where, where are the instructions? Looking all over and I was starting to actually get a little upset because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to now either get online and, and search it or figure it out. It shouldn't be that hard, but then I looked at the box the instructions are on the box. Sometimes I can't see the forest for the trees. So now we're gonna figure out how to get these rope hangers on to the lights. And yes, there are instructions. It's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for a ride.
I did get all uh, six of the lights hung and they are linked all together uh, down the back side and then around the end and back up the front side. So I did get them all on one plug, which means I will be able to use my digital timer when they need it. So that is fantastic. That means I, that it's one less thing that I have to come out here and manage all the time. Blessed be friends, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed seeing how we set up our light setup. And if you are interested in our sturdy built greenhouse, you can watch this playlist right over here.